I'm Dr. Ben Newman. I'm a coronavirologist. Um, let's get to your next question. But all things, I don't know, usually coronavirus. Let's see. Next one is from Rita. How are you doing, Rita? All right. So I'm going to ask a question about a YouTube video I watched called Shot in the Dark by Dr. Sherry Tenpenny. Now, admittedly, it's been probably two weeks since you asked this question. I apologize. I <laughs> got real busy there. This video was hard to find because between the time of presumably you seeing it and me looking for it today, uh, it appears that this video and most of her nonsense has been completely deplatformed. Um, uh, like with any sort of false, malicious, or just, I don't know, harmful <laughs> claims, yeah. Um, so yeah, right there, uh, it tells you that uh, it's probably not particularly good stuff. But let's actually look into this and see what's going on. So um, first, let's start with the positive. Uh, she graduated from the University of Toledo, Ohio. So did I. Oh my gosh. Uh, she was 17 years before me uh, getting her bachelor's. So there we go. Yeah, <laughs> that's about the end of it. Um, what she claims in that video, which is, it's just, she's a... She's a standard anti-vaxxer. Uh, one of the things that they do is they generally don't have a very good grasp of what these vaccines are. They haven't read the papers about the vaccines. They're just saying, well, I have doubts and I'm a professional, so you should have doubts. Yeah, because what do you what do you know? <laughs> I would say I try to do the opposite of that and say, okay, here is the data and this is why I don't have doubts. Make up your own mind, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so there we go. Um, she says she comes from a long line of chiropractors, which I would not list as a positive. So chiropractors are fine, but um, in the past, the controversy has been that chiropractors, at least in the UK, said that they could cure all kinds of diseases that there is no way that a chiropractor could cure by, you know, cracking the back and manipulating the spine is, yeah, just ridiculous stuff. Um, and lots of lawsuits back and forth and big giant studies where they tried this out in a randomized controlled trial and just found no evidence of uh, any benefit in those particular conditions. So might be good for something but it's not good for a lot of the things that they say it is and it's kind of a pseudoscience area so that's where she's coming from now she is a do which is not an md but it's kind of close when it's done right but not everybody does it right so i don't know <laughs> um seed of doubt planting seeds of doubt that's what she says she does that's what i'm doing here i guess what she says at the beginning of that video, um, if I'm watching the right one, it seemed to be called uh, Shots in the Dark. It looked like it was from a, um, it's either a religious talk show or maybe a church service um, where she was there as like set up like a panel show. Yeah, I'm not sure the background uh, on it. But she said she has spent 40,000 hours researching vaccines in a general sort of way, which is a heck of a claim. Think about it. Yeah. If you spent 40 hours a week, like a full work week, and you didn't do any other parts of your job, you were specifically just reading papers, analyzing the paper, setting it aside on your growing mountain of paper, and reading another one. I don't know. You could get through, um, well, yeah, quite, quite, a few, uh, quite a few papers. Let's see. 40,000 hours, one to two hours of paper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 20 to 40,000 papers. You would think she would understand. She doesn't. She is. <laughs> no. I don't know if she's read 10 vaccine papers. Um, she's, she went to a conference uh, once. Um, yeah, she, she says that. But uh, yeah, 40 hours a week, that would be a thousand weeks of nothing but reading about vaccines. Her job as a DO physician was not about vaccines at all. She was helping people with a variety of things, most of which had nothing to do with vaccines. So um, somewhere in her life, she found a thousand weeks, which is 19.2 years. <laughs> yeah, I've rounded up slightly from 19.17, um, solely doing this, which I think, I think is an exaggeration. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think she may have held a passing interest in vaccines for 20 years and then vaguely, uh, imperfectly mapped it up and rounded it to a nice sounding number. I think that's, um, yeah, about all you can say. I think she's actually dating it back to this particular conference she went to in the year 2000. Yeah, remember back when. And she came away from this conference feeling that vaccines were bad and that we didn't understand. And the thing with anti-vax goofballs like this um, is that what they tend to do is they'll tend to say that we don't understand as if nobody understands when really it's they don't understand because they haven't read <laughs> any of the stuff. So there's nothing that she says that is what I would call expert, which is based on up-to-date information recently gleaned from journals. If she's looking at anything, it is a very carefully cherry-picked version of, you know, just the things that are in pseudoscience and uh, conspiracy monthly, you know, <laughs> if that journal even exists. Um, I, I'm certainly not a subscriber, but uh, yeah, it's a big world. People like all kinds of things. That's fine. Um, so uh, yeah, I, she frightens people for a living, basically, uh, is what it looks like, uh, based on a little bit that I can see here. Um, so she sells a, or has sold a course for 600 and some dollars where you can go and she'll basically plant the seeds of vaccine doubt for you at great expense. Why you would pay that much money for something that is badly thought out and ultimately hurts you. Ugh, but there are people that are, that are desperate or are looking for an easy way to kind of understand all of this. And I, I can see, I can see the appeal. It's just that I feel like if you had a conscience or any professional integrity, you would not do that. <laughs> you know, it's just, ugh, yeah. I don't know. Call me, play this video back to me someday when I'm offering the $600 uh, vaccine denial course and, you know, throw it back in my face. Feel free to, but uh, until then, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's anything that she says that is true or correct or based in fact or that you should worry about in any way um she's a non-expert out of her depth um and she just doesn't know what she's talking about but she's gonna talk about it real loud which in ordinary society that's that's a lot of people all the time and if we're talking about baseball or you know whatever who would win a fight between x and y superheroes I feel like that is a reasonable outlet for that side of the creative human personality. But um, no, I don't like it. I don't like it when it uh, comes out, <laughs> when you spend your creativity on uh, vaccine denial. That's that's not helping anybody. Yeah, so um, no, she doesn't know what she's talking about as far as I can tell. There you go. I hope that helps. Um, I, I don't see any reason why um, that would make you unconfident. Uh, I would say... If you have specific concerns, like I have this, this, and this wrong, should I get a vaccine or like which vaccine is going to be better given these uh, concerns, that's a really good your doctor question. And all these vaccines have been given out enough times to enough people that there are actually pretty good answers for that uh, if your doctor is more caught up than uh, Dr. Tenpenny, yeah, <laughs> who's not caught up at all. All right. Thanks very much. This has been Ask Dr. Ben. Um, yeah. These are all right. Thank you very much.